This is the Fine Fine K683A. Keep watching to find out why I'm recommending this microphone to new podcasters. Hello, I'm John Wilkerson, and I've been podcasting and making YouTube videos since 2005. And that's a long time. And along the way, I have been asked a lot by new podcasters what microphone I would recommend. Now, in the early years, when I was going to Radio Shack and getting equipment, yes, I went to Radio Shack, you were lucky if you got something that would last you three months. And if it lasted a year, man, that was great. We didn't have a lot of options early on, but now there are hundreds of microphones that you can choose from. And so it's very difficult for someone who's just starting out to pick a microphone. And for the last five years or so, I have been recommending the ATR 2100. Well, that's changed because now for most new podcasters, I'm recommending the Fine Fine K683A. So when you're starting out, you don't want to have to deal with a ton of gear. You don't want to have to set up a lot of things and worry about drivers and things like that. It's amazing that now in 2021, we still need to worry about drivers on our devices, but it still really is an issue. That's where the Fine Fine K683 comes in. And yes, I know you've probably heard people pronounce the name of this company as Fifine, but According to them, it's fine, fine. They reached out to me last month and asked me to review their latest microphone. And when I looked at the specs, I couldn't turn it down. The fine, fine K683A is a fully plug and play microphone that's compatible with Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and the PS4. I'm sorry if you got an Xbox, this thing's not gonna work for you. All right, let's dig into some technical weeds. It's got a 16 millimeter capsule with a cardioid pickup pattern that provides a frequency range of 50 to 70 kilohertz. It's got a signal to noise ratio of 70 dB, which is pretty good. There's a mute button, gain control, USB A and C connectors, and a low latency 3.5 millimeter headphone jack for monitoring. So when you compare the K683A to the ATR2100, which is what I normally recommend to podcasters, this thing stacks up pretty well. It does lack an XLR jack. So if you're looking to have a microphone that'll grow with your podcasting needs, um, this isn't gonna be the microphone for you. However, at $60, actually it's a little less than $60, you're not losing a lot of money if you need to replace this microphone. Now I consider the ATR2100 the gold standard when it comes to budget-friendly, high-quality audio gear. So let's compare the Fine Fine K683A to my trusty ATR2100. That is my daily driver and I use for nearly every single one of my podcasts. So up until now, I've been using the K683A. So let me switch to the ATR2100. I'm gonna take a look down here at my scene selection and switch to that. I'm using the ATR2100 now. And now I'm using the K683A from Fine Fine. Can you hear a difference? You probably can. Here's the ATR2100 again, and here's the K683A. So one thing about the, uh, the K683A is it has this gain knob on it. So if I want to get really, really up close to this microphone, I can turn the gain down and get really close and do this ASMR type deal. Now here's the thing with the ATR2100. It doesn't have a gain knob, so if I want to adjust the input, I gotta go into my software to do that. All right, I've got the K683A set up once again, uh, right where it was before. Here's another thing that really helps out, and I don't ever recommend doing this, but let's do this here. I'm gonna turn the gain way up here, and now I'm gonna step across the room 
All right, so you can probably hear me now. We'll switch to the ATR 2100. Come across the room again with the ATR 2100. All right, so I hope you could hear the difference between those microphones. Like I said, because the K683 has a gain knob, you don't have to dig around in the software settings to adjust your volume output. The other thing that I like is that it has a push button mute instead of a switch. And there's an LED that indicates when the microphone is muted. And now the microphone is back on again. To me, that's one of the things that's lacking with the ATR2100 is this gain knob. Now the thing that's lacking on the K683A from Fine Fine is an XLR jack. And so the one thing you can't do is say, plug in two of these microphones into your computer. Whereas I've got a Scarlett 2i2 and I can use two of these ATR2100s at the same time whenever I'm uh, doing any kind of voice acting or if I want to do an in-person interview. Despite the lack of an XLR connector, I'm still going to recommend this microphone to new podcasters or people who want to stream on Twitch or YouTube or even do live streaming or talking head videos like this one. I think it looks really cool. And if it came in some other colors, like maybe a silver or a gold, that would really help with the aesthetics of the microphone for people who just want a little bit more flair. Now, if you're an experienced podcaster, I think you could still benefit from getting this microphone because it's great if you just want to grab something. And if you've got a ton of gear, you don't want to have to set up and turn on and all that. You just plug this thing in and you're ready for an interview with another podcaster or even doing an online conference through Zoom or Microsoft Meet or something like that. It's a high quality, versatile microphone that is going to give you so much bang for your buck. I think you're going to really like this microphone. I'm recommending it to people. And for $60, I think it is the bargain of the year. If you got any value out of this video, I'd appreciate if you slapped that like button. And if you want to see content like this come out more often, if you want to see it, hey, why not subscribe? Thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate you. And I hope to have another review for you in a week or two. All right. Bye.